Everybody want to be a hot girl until you a victim of hot girl. Brother clip. Peeps up and down the city, I don't try to. Hey, yay, yay. Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving Eve, or it might be Thanksgiving Day. It might be past Thanksgiving. Depends on when you're watching this. So, um. <laughs> whatever I'm not gonna hold y'all long cuz you know I got I got some cooking to do if you're gonna be cooking for this Thanksgiving let me know in the comment section down below what are you cooking what's your favorite dish what are you looking forward to it's Thanksgiving not your thing whatever anyways let's just get right into the tea I'm not gonna get too deep into it but I just want to speak my piece on this little, little topic real quick I don't know if y'all heard, but okay, so there's some drama going around. There's this girl, Sophia, right? And supposedly, allegedly, this girl, Sophia, scammed a bunch of influencers out of like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like the highest number I saw was $11 million, y'all. She came for the girls and she got the coins and she tripped them, honey, and their bitter boots. I know you're probably like, Chanel, how did this girl scam these influencers out of all of their money? Well, look, to make it short, the girl kind of gave a bunch of different influencers, like kind of like the same sob story. Like she would do this thing where she would just kind of always show up at these events and she would just always be in the place and just so happen to bump into people and she would befriend them and then she would hit them with a, Oh, someone robbed all my money. I have medical bills. I, you know, she would hit them with these sob stories, which most of those stories were kind of the same. So, um, if nothing else, Shabby was keeping our story straight. I don't really know exactly who put the two together, but a few influencers got together and said, hey, I kind of had the same experiences with this girl. Who is this girl? So a bunch of influencers came together on Spaces. If you're not familiar with a space is, it's this thing that is on Twitter that's kind of like a giant conference call that is open to anyone. So you had a bunch, I mean a bunch, of YouTubers because this girl didn't just finesse like one or two or even four or five she done ran through the whole she done ran through the whole and from what I heard she even scammed some of her family members <laughs> so these influencers get into this space and of course it's open to everyone so the fans and everyone's in here and they're listening everybody's having a round table and they're, everybody's like yeah she did this and da 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 oh me too because she told me and da 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 so they putting all the facts and stuff together so then I don't know why but all of a sudden everything went left and everybody turned on Ricky Thompson and Denzel Dion. If you don't know who they are please get out from under the rock. There's two of the funniest most talented uh, like huge YouTubers influencers that really out here booked and busy doing it. I highly recommend you watch them but anyways everyone kind of turned on them and was kind of like oh well, you seem like you've known this girl Sophia the longest. How come you didn't warn us about her? And they were like, baby, um, look, we never said we knew that girl like that. She tried to pull a wool over us, but as soon as we saw the red flags, like we boom, skip, dip, like, you know, it is like, it is what it is. And people were trying to make it seem like, oh, well, were you in on it? Well, how come you couldn't warn nobody? Like, look what she did and this and that and the third. And I mean, Hey, like, don't be gullible. Denzel and Ricky are kind of like, um, <laughs> this isn't about me. This is about the random girl who's done just, just ran through the influencer community and who was just probably off somewhere on some yacht laughing all the way to the bank. In the midst of a lot of people turning on Denzel and Ricky, some things were said by, by Denzel, a little bit by Ricky, but some things were said by Denzel, specifically some tweets that kind of were um, taken completely out of context against Somali women. The Sophia girl is a Somali woman. Denzel, out of frustration, made some comments that were taken out of context. They were addressed, he apologized, and most people moved on. Well, that was not good enough. Well, the Somali community came for him, honey, honey, honey. It went on for days. So much so, it got away from the Sophia girl. It turned into, oh my gosh, why would Denzel say that? He hates, he hates Somali women. He needs to control his fans. His fans are coming to attack the Somali community. And I'm just kind of like, okay, so are we not going to focus on the girl who... <laughs> 
robbed you. Another thing was a lot of people were like, okay, y'all are millionaires. Y'all need to be careful with your money. Why are you just willy-nilly giving out your money? You had influencers who gave their credit card information to this Sophia girl. You had influencers who repeatedly gave her thousands of dollars. And it's just kind of like us regular folk are like, baby, you need to be a little more careful with your money. Like, it's all sad and all that you got scammed. But at the end of the day, you're still rich. You need to be smart with your money. You need to fact check just because somebody gives you a sob story does not mean that you just that you just run with it to me side note i kind of think look some of these influencers not all but some of these influencers think that you could buy their friendship so they out here spilling all this coin they out here peeling and throwing this money at this girl and when she got the money and dip now they're kind of like how about your friendship how dare you leave like you know what i'm saying it's very that but that's another topic conversation for another day more facts about the Sophia girl. People came out and saying that S.A. You know, I don't want to say it on the channel, but they were saying that there was some assault of the of the adult kind against some people. I don't know how true that is. It was some allegations there, but then people came back and said, well, Sophia was assaulted too. So I um I don't know the facts of all of that. As of right now, we're still waiting to hear from Miss Sophia. If I was her, I'd probably stay away. I ain't gonna speak for the girl. But, you know, it seemed like, look, she ran game. And y'all made it easy for her. I'm not excusing what she did. And and Denzel and Ricky, they kind of understood it. Look, it is what it is. Because a lot of people are like, I can't understand how she could just do all that. And Denzel's like, okay, what's well, hard to understand? She ran game and we got played. It is what it is. Like people do it all day long and people are like well well she scammed you why aren't you more upset because first of all baby i get scammed like if she tried it as soon as i peep game you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is be careful with your coin fact check people don't fall for every sob story influencers be smarter with your money for those of you who thought you was gonna buy this girl's friendship you know i hope you learned your lesson and also uh, just because i don't care how much money you have no one deserves to be scammed and also let's stick to the topic at hand no reason to throw hate at denzel and ricky why why attack the black man you know what I'm saying? Why they gotta get attacked and all of this? They, 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 we, we need to be focusing on Sophia and what the hell happened. And y'all need to figure out how she got y'all for millions of dollars. <laughs> Anyways, um, happy Thanksgiving. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all that drama. Primero Impacto Exclusivo. There's no scandal. I can't handle this thing. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. Get back to my cooking. I'll see you in the next video. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Thank you so much. I said what I said.